Let's now proceed to the application of set to word problems, survey problems. The objectives for this lesson is for you to be able to use Venn diagrams to visualize a survey's results. Use survey results to complete Venn diagrams and answer questions about the survey. Let's consider the following problem. The results of the survey are summarized in this figure. This is the survey or the problem that we had in the previous section. Set A here is the set of students willing to donate blood. And set B is the set of students willing to serve breakfast to donors. This 290 here is the number of students who are not willing to donate blood nor willing to serve breakfast to donors. So this is in the complement of the union of the two sets here. To answer the questions, letter A and letter B, we would refer to this Venn diagram here. One, two, three, and four are the region. So this is region one, region two, region three, and region four. So first question, how many students are willing to donate blood? In set A, is the students willing to donate blood? So it's everything on this set here. So it will be on regions one and two. So therefore, the number of students willing to donate blood is 370 plus 120, which is equal to 490. Next, how many are willing to donate blood but not serve breakfast? So it will be on A because it's willing to donate blood. It should not be part of set B because set B are the number of people that are willing to serve breakfast. So therefore, in this case, this is represented by, so it is this region here, so that is region one. So region one represents a intersection B prime or complement of B. And that is actually region one. So that is equal to 370. Now for letter C, how many weren't willing to do either? This one means it's not in A and also not in B. So therefore it means we're actually looking at the region outside of A and also outside of B. So it is the complement of the union of A and B. The complement of the union of A and B is also the same as A prime, the complement of A, intersection, the complement of B, and that is actually region 4. These are the students not willing to do either one of these tasks here, to donate blood or to serve breakfast to donors. So the answer is 290.
Now in solving survey problems, we will follow the following steps. We will use the survey's description to define sets and draw a Venn diagram. The Venn diagram is really important so we can visualize the problem. And then use the survey's result to determine the cardinality for each region in the Venn diagram. This is the technique here. You always have to start with the intersection of the sets. So when you fill out the cardinality of each region, always start at the intersection of sets. Now, if you have several intersections, you have to start at the innermost region, and then you work outward. Then, once you've done the second step, you use the completed Venn diagram to answer the problem's question. For example, here, a survey is taken that asks 2,000 randomly selected U.S. and Mexican adults the following question. Do you agree or disagree that the primary cause of poverty is societal injustice? The results of the survey show that 1,060 people agreed with the statement and 400 Americans agreed with the statement. If half the adult survey were Americans, how many Mexicans agreed with the statement? How many Mexicans disagreed with the statements? So step one, define the sets and draw a Venn diagram. So let's define the sets. Now, our universal set here will be the number of people in the survey. Americans and Mexicans. Let US be the set of Americans in the survey. So this is just a set of Americans in the survey. So if this is the set of Americans in the survey, and this second circle here would represent the number of people who agreed on the survey. So therefore, this intersection here, these are the people who are from the US and they also agreed to the question. And outside of this circle, outside of the U.S. circle, that area represents the set of Mexican, meaning to say this third region here is the number of Mexicans who agreed with the statement. And this region here, region four, these are the number of Mexicans who disagreed to the survey. And now let's fill in the information. So we have to start with region two, since this is the innermost region, and then we would move outward to region one, and then three, and then ending with region four. This 400 here represents the set of Americans who agreed with the statement. We are given that the cardinality of the intersection of US and A is this region here, and that is equal to 400. That is the number of American people who agreed to that statement. Then we would either complete one or two. So let's do one. Since we know that the total number of people survey, the total number of Americans in the survey is 1,000. So that means that the total for this circle here, the total cardinality for US is 1,000. So if this is already 400, then 1,000 minus 400 is equal to 600. Also, we are given that A, regions 2 and 3, contain 1,060 people who agreed with the statement. So if we already have 400 Americans who agreed with a statement, then the total for this one, since the total for the whole circle here is 1,060, this comes to 660 because 1,060 minus 400 is 660. Now, we know that the total number of people in the survey is 2,000. 
So all you need to do to get the cardinality for region 4 is to add this region plus this region plus this region and subtract that from 2000. So this plus this plus this is equal to 1660 and then subtract it from 2000 that gives us 340 people in region 4. So to answer the questions, the Mexicans who agreed with the statements are shown in region 3. This means that 660 Mexicans agreed that societal injustice is the primary cause of poverty. The Mexicans who disagreed with the statements corresponds to region 4. This means that 340 Mexicans disagreed that societal injustice is the primary cause of poverty.